Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Summoner's Fate, a roguelike deck-building turn-based tactics game that I'm very curious to try out here today. I almost skipped it entirely because the name and the combination with the art style made it think it was going to be one very specific style of game. But then I looked into it further. The gameplay seems interesting. It seems like a new kind of a take on this sort of a genre, a genre that I do enjoy. I said I wanted more of these games like a year ago. I sneezed and now there's 30. Uh, so <laughs> I, either way, it looks like it's doing something very fresh in this genre combo. Uh, but let's start at, start with the story. Hurl a squirrel, rescue a tortoise, and defeat your first boss. Okay. Sure. Summoner's fate. In this boundless and ever-changing multiverse, heroes called summoners are gifted with the power to wield primordial magic. It is foretold that through their adventures, the world is shaped and given meaning. To fulfill their destiny, the summoner must defeat three formidable bosses that guard the gateway to the beyond, but they cannot do it alone. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like this? You are the guide. The guide is what the summoner is called. <laughs> the one who decides their destiny. The summoner guide is you. The summoner looks up to you. I can see that. <laughs> to command their fate. Only with your wits and creativity can they succeed in their journey. Why does it feel like I just... Oh my god. I just went to an orphanage and they're like, Please, take me home. Take me with you. Ever-changing adventures await you. But before you can travel between worlds, you need to... A. Obtain the Staff of Squirrel Hurling. B. Find the Cosmic Tortoise. Explore the surrounding forest to learn the basics of combat and cards along the way. Okay, she's looking down now. Okay, so we are... Are we in a grid base? We kind of are. One second. All right. Out we go. Into the mist. Your turn. Drag Sylvia on... Stop looking at me. Onto an enemy to move and attack. Okay. Excellent. Units can be ordered once per turn. Move and attack are a single command. How dare you make me get attacked? Units counterattack once per round unless they are backstabbed or overkilled. This icon means that the attack has been used. Okay, we can. Oh, we can like pause to. Gotcha. Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Summoner. Okay. I can click her to see what kind of card she's got there. New Wolf also looking up to Papa. Loyal War Cry. All ally animals get plus one, plus zero until the start of their turn. Okay. Oh, do we go? Okay. So we're going to be doing like a little bit of card collector action a little bit of summoning a little bit of hearthstone i mean i guess it is called what summoners i already forgot the name it's so it is a generic name summoners fate hold three in your hand at a time drag cards to cast with your summoner played cards go to the discard pile try up to three when ending your turn man is used to play cards gain three per turn during combat or up to five okay what the heck all right collect another core Cord? <laughs> Gust of wind. Push all units in front of you five spaces away. I don't know what's going up. There's like a little bit of like frame rate stuff going on. That's what I was trying to fix. But there's no like V-Sync or anything. I think it may just be something in the game. Uh, you received the first turn in battle. A highly advantageous position. To balance this, the player who goes first generates two mana instead of three. Okay. Can we, like, collide? Units that collide with it take three damage. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's pretty fun. Summon L Wolf. You received a buff. Right-click a unit to view their buffs listed with the up arrow. Unless specified otherwise, buffs last until the end of battle. Okay. Hello. Yes. Go for it. So he cannot counterattack because he's been backstabbed. When you see this dagger, you know it's a backstab. Backstab units can't counterattack. I do like that there's the option to... Like, they have the remind me option. Where if you're like, I think I'll want to... Oh, we get the... The dog just stays with us now. 
Deal two fire damage to everything, everything except the caster. Sorry, Wolfie. I don't know what to tell you. Can we get anything out of these trees? Does not quite seem like it. What do we got there? Don't stop looking at me. You've found Oak's End and unlocked the Druid's awesome power to hurl squirrels at your enemies. Every unit in Summoner's Fate has a card that explains their special abilities. Right-click any unit to view their card. Oh, this is back. Uh, summoner, far shot. Hurl a squirrel. Hurl a 1-1 squirrel, deal one damage. Shoot unlimited range. Can, can't move and attack. So is it like I can spawn a 1-1 one, one squirrel anywhere instead of an attack? The far shot, well, pff, okay, fine, fine. I don't need to figure it out myself. The far shot ability allows you to perform a special action. In this case, hurling squirrels. When you select a non-adjacent, non-diagonal target. Non-adjacent, non-diagonal target. Far shot has unlimited range, which makes it exceptionally powerful. To balance this out, units with far shot cannot move and attack in the same turn. Far shot units will melee attack adjacent units. Okay. I cannot, so I no longer can move and attack at the same time. Hurl a squirrel with a powder keg, I mean. Oh, he's fine. Bye. Remember, use far shot to target. Uh, your target may not be adjacent or diagonal. Okay, so I can't, like, throw out more squirrels, I guess. Okay. So can we just go like this and get all of it? Yeah, all right. The heck is going on up here? It's raining now. Hello, sir. Mercenary for hire. A formidable-looking warrior offers to join you in your adventure for 300 gold. Preserver. Insectoid spells cost one less. Flying support. Flying can fly over obstacles and reveal traps. Support. Uh, remove debuffs and heal for four. And can do that instead of attacking. Cost four mana to play? I mean, sure. Preserver joins your party as a guardian. What's a guardian? Permanent allies that protect you, your summoner throughout your adventure. Any, any unit card that costs four mana can serve as a guardian. You can have two of them in your party at once. Guardians that have left... Stop with the flashing. Have left or been defeated in battle can be added to your party again at camp. While at camp, guardians not in your party can also be added to your deck as a summonable unit. Alright. That flash is bothering me. Hello there. It's like... Yeah, man. Deal two damage to all units. I mean, that it says all units, though. I don't know if I want to do that. How about you, um... How do I summon... How do I throw, hurl a squirrel? I mean, step one, I think this is probably fine. Like, no, no real concerns on this one. You're gonna be coming in. Squ squirrel hurl. All right, we're good. You found a life fruit. Your maximum life has been increased by three and your wounds have healed. Found a D20. Use this to influence the outcome of fate encounters. The more dice you roll, the better chance the outcome. Okay. Hello there. I still want to fire blast and kill my wolf. That feels obscene. One HP. Nope. I... Thank God. I wanted to click you. I think we'll go in for that. What's your radius like? And you can't... You can't hit from here, can you? Oh, you can't hit anything at all. Alright. I mean, I guess I'll... I still want to... The fact that, that it's going to kill my wolf feels like a little wild. So we summon this squirrel. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. 
Okay, I should have checked his card block. Cannot... I mean, I guess, can I undo that? Wait, can he not block behind him? From the front or sides? Okay, what if we did like a... So that, he, he would block that. I guess maybe the logical thing to do would be to just put the squirrel right here. So that nobody of, uh... <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. I, I can't, I mean, I guess I could move you up. What is this? What does that tile mean? Is that lunge? May attack diagonally. No, my God. That keeps happening. Are these tiles that he normally would be able to get to, but he can't because of what I did with, I, I don't know. Let's just move you up one. I'm aware. That squirrel's there to block. Oh, 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 okay. It can still counteract. I mean, we got hit anyways, because that other one was able to get us, but we just backstab. Uh, overkill, it means overkill. Like legitimately, if you do two damage to it, it won't attack back, but if it's a perfect kill, you will get it. I mean, it makes sense. Give an allied animal plus three, plus three. If it is small, mutate it. Ooh. Give a unit downfall. Deal four fire damage to a 3x3 three three area. So when it dies, it explodes. So we could... We could... <laughs> this game just said, throw exploding squirrels. Um, transform a tree into a 4-7 tree ant. Vulnerable to fire. N Wait. Vulnerable fire 3, knockback 5. Scarred, draw a tree ant. I like the idea of throwing demon squirrels. But that is, I do like the, the vibes there. I do wonder about the, the frame rate thing. I really do. I've not had issues with my, my computer at all. I'm feeling like it might be on the game's end. Um, all right. Step one, throw a squirrel. Step two, mutate said squirrel into a demon. <sighs> Depending on how this goes, can you, you can't hit anything. I'm trying to think, like I could, if I kill you, the squirrel will die if I go for this. We won't get attacked back and then he'll be forced to attack me. There's almost like some, yeah, there really is almost some like Hearthstone-y kind of vibes going on with what we're doing on the battlefield. It really, I'm really intrigued. I'm really intrigued on a mechanical front, for sure. There's a lot of interesting weirdness going on, obviously, but also I, there, there is something innately funny about the game like I, that I think is on purpose. And then also I'm just, there's some interesting technical things happening as far as gameplay. Summon two 1-1 one, one armored squirrels. I mean... I, I could. I don't know. Would I guess if I did this and I ran them right... Oh, they can attack... Di they have lunge. All right. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. My beefy squirrel is going to handle it. <laughs> and then those ones run away. So we got three D20s. Are you a good bear? Caged bear or large bear rests uncomfortably in the confines of its cage. Appears to have been abandoned by its captors and won't survive long if kept locked up. On the other hand, freeing it could be dangerous. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 1 to 7 means the bear is angered and attacked. 8 to 14 growls and happily runs away. 15 to 20, the bear joins your party. 
I really want a bear to join my party. Let's go. Bear joins your party as a guardian. I mean, do I need to ask again? I mean, I like that it has it there, though. Hello. Let me see you, bear. Swink. Stop looking at me like that. Uh, swipe and knock back. Swipe attacks all enemies in a frontal arc. Are you saying like an arc like whoop? Literally like an arc like this? Or are you just saying in it? Three. We'll see. And it has knockback. It seems busted. Oh no. Please don't tell me there's things in the barrels. Please don't tell me there's things in the barrels. Please don't tell me there's things in the barrels. Alright, so far so fine on that. I don't want there to be things in the barrels. Not in a game like this. You found a campsite. Campfires are scarce and stocked with resources for a single stopover only. Choose wisely when to rest. You, when you make camp, all party members are healed. Discarded cards are reshuffled back into your deck. Defeated guardians are revived. You can edit your party configuration. You can rebuild your deck from any cards found uh, this adventure with the Cosmic Tortoise. What? The campsite is fully stocked with wood and marshmallows and would make excellent place to rest. Alternatively, you could collect the supplies to use at future campsite in your journey. Take marshmallows, make camp. I mean, I'm, I think I'm fine. Like, let's just take the marshmallows. They're a delicious treat that are beloved by the characters of Summoner's Fate. They are also a vital resource to representing your camp supplies. Five marshmallows to restock a depleted campsite. Okay. Got it. Okay, so marshmallows are like... It's like a tent in another game. Alright. Just making sure. I'm breaking all of these just to... Oh man. Oh man. Tedium. Tedium required. Yeah? Elite encounters. Elites are enemy summoners controlled by an unknown guide on... Oh, man. So we're, like, legit in, like, a little Hearthstone battle now. Uh, elites are designated by an ornate life bar. Like your summoner, they have special abilities and can cast spells. Right-click the character to view their abilities. Defeat the enemy summoner to win immediately. Summoner, inflict poison one. Okay. You can discover the boss layer, defeat the boss to complete this chapter of your summoner's prophecy. I mean, are you armored? Nope. I don't see why not just like throw the squirrel out. One, one. I feel like that's a pretty good situation. What's your deal again? Three. Supports. Remove debuffs. Heal. I mean, I guess we could just do that too. Hip hip hooray. We have. We just haven't needed to. Truly. So support probably can move and go. What are you telling me? Are you telling me that I can? I don't want to cast conflagration. I know. Why do you want me to kill my dog so bad? Why do you want me to kill my dog so bad? You've been afflicted with a debuff. Right-click on a unit to view their debuffs listed with a down arrow. And, unless specified otherwise, they're gone at the end of battle. All right. Gotcha. Then poison, poison, poison units lose life each time their turn starts in combat. Remove it with curative spells. Gotcha. Oh, he doesn't even need to move. It's a... I thought that that was like for far shot only. So when do we redraw? Oh, we only redraw when we've used all our abilities? Is that what's going on? Almost there, keep pushing the fight, thank you. All right, in that case, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, everyone. The game wants me to do it. Also, the heck? Why does that sound so much louder? All right, alas, let's get all this garbage. Cool. 
Keys open locked chests and doors. Could have told you that. Oh my god. Hellhound! Uh, Pierce moves up to six spaces per turn. Disarms block and armor. Uh, he's so cute. Uh, he's so cute. Demon animal. I could have told you that. Insectoid animal. Whenever hurt, summons two one one wolf spiderlings. Oh, there's a fun build in that and the AOE damage thing. We can only buff up one specific unit with our ability to do that. Hmm. But we can't keep doing the AOE because then the one ones will die. It's like there's, it's like quasi synergistic. This is more reliable. Deal two damage if a target is frozen, is a frozen minion or an obstacle, destroy it. I'll go with the Hellhound, I guess. It's more reliable. He can take the two damage hit, unlike my other wolf boy. Oh my god. Who puts a turtle in prison? Also, why do we hit everything to talk to them? There's so many weird things going on, but like mechanically and tactically, this game is really intriguing. Like really intriguing. So much more intriguing than... I would have guessed from the the kind of like uh, Google generator default name. Uh, you found the cosmic tortoise. This mysterious tortoise has the power to travel through dimensions and plays a role in the fates of all summoners. Here's the burden of the, your cards you find on your adventures. When you make camp, the tortoise will now join you. Use the tortoise as the gateway to adventure, battle, and unleashing your creative potential building powerful decks. Okay. Let's go. Bye. Bye. New cards unlocked. Okay. So if we go for new game now, choose a team of three heroes and 20 cards to battle opponents in turn-based combat. Average playtime, four to six minutes. Interesting. I Also, normalize this. This is great. I love this. I absolutely love that. This wasn't quite accurate, but I'm also doing a video and explaining things. Uh, go for the adventure, sure. Choose difficulty, nine lives, full recovery, five bonus health, reduce enemy health. I just, just do the middle one, I guess. <laughs> so funny to me. Uh, I don't know, it just looks like we can click on these and I guess we can. Customize deck. Choose three cards. Oh. Oh, this isn't... That's it. Wait. Wait a minute. This is so simple of a choice, but so good. Why... Why is this simple of an idea something I have not seen? You get to pick three cards to start. Like, you can have it be, like, one or two or three or whatever. Like, that's just... That's so interesting. We can immediately, because we have these three cards, transform an enemy, like, th these are required, and then the other stuff is not. We can figure it out from there. Um, I kind of like the idea of going animal growth, armored squirrels. Um, Warcry, all animal, all ally animals get plus one, plus zero at the start of their turn. So, like, this guy, the wolf really is just there to do buffs, so I'll take the wolf. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah still, still, still I like it. Like, you get to choose three from the get-go. I got that. I got that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I do like animal growth, though. I I mean, I actually, I'm pretty satisfied with the ones they picked, though, to be real. But I will also grab a wolf to get the AoE buff or the, the damage buff on the squirrels that we summon. I think that is... Isn't that like what we had? No, we didn't have Polymorph. Did I do it? Did I customize? Ditch. Okay, there we go. Choose. I really love... Like, I love that system. That's so smart. Just like, pick three. You're gonna get so much more, but like... Letting their player have a little bit of autonomy right away? Why is that so bad? Like, especially if the run is going to be like a three-hour run. Uh, like a more, more of a campaign run time. It's so strange. Uh, all right. Fantastic creatures and deadly enemies call this force home somewhere in the mist. You first boss 
makes its den. Keep your wits about you. Help your summoner explore and battle by building a deck of magic, recruiting a team of new members, finding lore to reveal the secrets of your enemy. Defeat the boss and achieve greatness together. Okay. Yeah, the biggest shame so far, and it's like, it's an undefensible shame, is the frame rate uh, weirdness. Can we actually go up here? Oh, this is actually a different zone too. Okay. Tactical retreat. This battle may be too difficult to win with your current resources. You can use this button in order to ta do a tactical retreat. Retreat for free after first scouting an area. If you decide to fight, you'll need to pass a dice roll to defeat, to, to, uh, to retreat. Got it. Okay. Roll the dice to successfully flee. If you just scouted this area, you can retreat without uh, without going for it. I mean, I'm assuming that... I'm assuming you're right. I probably could handle it during your first turn. You can always retreat for free. Yes. I did it. Bam, bam. Okay, so that was like a little bit of a, a sneaky secret area. As is this. Oh, but there's just treasure here. All right. This was a good sneaky little find then. So can we, um... Oh, we can get through there. What do we do about the vines? Can we... We can hit them. Okay. But there's nothing else there as evidenced by the fact that there's no, like, smog campsite. Not that we need it right now. Uh, do, I, do I care? Oogaloo! Oogaloo! The great yellow jacket. They say yellow jackets are the descendants of the ancient god-like insects known as the Oogaloo. Massive size, had an insatiable appetite swooping down from those in the sky. Snatched away children, excuse me? Whose desperate cries for help were drowned out by the deafening buzz of the Oolagoo's wings and carried them off to be feasted upon. That's some Pokedex entry garbage. What? That's some cursed Pokedex entry garbage. What the Drifloon, dude? All right. Speak with the shopkeeper to buy an item. I mean, I do have money now. Hello, sir. Soul gent. Jungle cat's got lunge. Pearl a squirrel. So that I mean, we could throw out two squirrels at the same time. I mean, that's kind of nice. Uh, this counts. These count as animals. Flying inflict poison. It's only got one health though. But if we get the buff on it, I don't know, maybe. What about this? Shop exclusive. Ooh. Five mana, vigil, and limited counterattacks. Gain plus two, two when injured, vulnerable to fire. Lose X extra life when hurt by fire. Loses five extra health when hurt by fire. Uh, I don't have the money for it. I could save up. Hello. Does your, your phone have any games? <laughs> Why are you like this? I mean, we kind of got an animal build going on to an extent here. I mean, let's just get a hurl of squirrel and let's consider coming back for the hydra when we get 400 bucks. We got a map. Okay. World map. Airs you explore in the map. Uh, let me learn more about it. Wait. Interact with the map to learn more about an area. Fast travel to the location. Oh! Man, the quality of life. There's so many interesting things going on. God, I, I just wish it had the game had a different name. I know it doesn't mean a lot, but like people will pass it over. It'll be like that's this is just a there's nothing of value here. But there there's there's definitely some interesting mechanics and quality of life things. Finding the perfect tree. Goblins are chopping down the forest to find the perfect Christmas tree. They don't actually know what that means. They just like chopping stuff. Heavily alarmed by their behavior, Treant is trying to stop them. The goblins have now turned their axes against the Treant, and it's about to get dicey. I'm going to help the Treant, right? Well, unless... I'll help the Treant. Okay, so we don't have any extra node dice. Oh! Oh, we don't even have to... We're a legend. Recognizing you're not one to be trifled with, they outmatch goblins, scurry after the forest. Hopefully, they'll think twice about who to raise their axe on in the future. Grateful for your help, the Treant pledges to join your adventure. Hello. So, join... Wait, join party? So, if it joins my party, it's in automatically, but it's only a two cost. I thought that... I am root. Okay, yep. All right. Uh, knockback five. 
I mean, I'll accept it. What is a loyal unit? When loyal units join you from events of the world, they remain in your party until defeat a battle. If they're summoned, if they wait, if a loyal unit is summoned by a card in your deck, it will return to the deck. We're not seeing camp. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, look at him go! <laughs> Come with me. I'm really glad I don't have that AOE fire blast now. I want. I want to fight. Oh my demon, demon bunnies. Pierce, disarms block and armor. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really mind. Wait, could you have reached? No, you cannot. Oh. Nice and easy fight there. Get squirrel blasted. Armored squirrel! Oh, it's a zero cost. Armor one lunge is the armored squirrel. Uh, sure. Okay, so we can't break those. Can't go down anymore. We got water, which I imagine is impassable. Yes, sir. Good deal. Hello, boys. I mean, like... I could just sort of wait. And then we risk nothing. I'm aware. Okay. It's your radius. So there's no risk in doing this. I'm aware. Oh, line of sight does block it. I mean, the good news is... Oh, I can't backstab. That's okay. Let me tell you, it doesn't actually matter. It's sad. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't like the squirrel dying, but hey. I mean... I mean, I just don't. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't be bothered. Um. One cost, summon two of them. Or zero cost. Do we have a... Do we get the other... I don't mind having another wolf, actually. We need to get that guy summoned, though. Let's do it next time. Oh, boy. This, this fight is scarier. And yet, I kind of want to do it. Is that bad? I'm doing it. I mean, you know what do you do? You got unlimited uh, counterattacks is your deal. Okay, armored and lunge. Oh, since I lunged, could he not attack back? Ooh. I think we're done, sir. I do want to get my wolves out, though, but... Okay. Oh. Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, my God. Nope. I didn't mean to do that, but hey. That's fine. Huge overflow damage. Huge overflow damage. So we should keep these, yeah? Yeah, so now the wolves are some... I can't. Pause that brief little frame if you want. 
It's just like it's too it's too too lower dumpy. There you go. Pause if you want. I just I can't imagine stopping to read all that right now. Should I fight the elite? Maybe we can maybe we can handle it. Maybe I can handle it. Well, I guess at this point I sort of need to go in on it. Okay. Oh, you have far shot. You have far shot as well. You also summon a squirrel. Oh no, that's my stuff. Okay. Um. Let me think. Can you get up here and lunge? You can. So we should be. You probably have lunge as well, though. I think it's okay. We can overflow kill here. spawning on that one. And we'll just go for it. Already counterattacked. Oh no. That's a little more concerning. Oh, you dummy. So it's immediately over when you die. How much health do you have? You don't have 11 health still. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's more like it. Uh, we can attack here, and it won't be an issue, and then we can overflow kill here. No problemo. No problemo. Hello. Killer bunny with Pierce. Do we have- wait, do we have to add a card? Interesting. Boss starting mana minus three. Defeated elites drop gems containing their trapped souls. When you pick up a soul gem, its energy is released, weakening the boss of the world who enslaved it. Red deplete their max life. Blue deplete their starting mana. What an interesting way of going about it. I, I like that. that. The actual like loop of this game is neat. Like I like... Almost everything about the loop of the game, I don't love the uh, the tedium of breaking all the barrels and uh, seeing big old chunks of lore that I'm not going to read. Okay, so if we get to the campfire, we can adjust our deck. I imagine that means we can remove stuff as well, yeah? Let's make camp. Like, I'm imagining this means we can remove. Do I have to, like... so funny. Welcome to the deck editor. The top panel holds the cards in your deck. The bottom holds the cards in your collection. Drag and drop cards to move them from your collection to your deck. Got it. Do, 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 do. do I want the jungle cat? I mean, maybe I... I don't know. Maybe I do. Killer bunny ain't loyal. I'm like least interested in the killer bunny right now. It's not that I'm not interested in it. it like, it's a... I don't know. Pierce and overflow. It's like it's a good thing to kill one like guard and then and then it'll get counterattack kill or it'll get killed on their turn very easily. Two wolves I think is too much. Maybe. Maybe not. Lunge 3 2 I don't hate it. Maybe maybe we take out this though. We do that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence on a lot of this. Got the armor squirrel, the hurl a squirrel. I think hurl a squirrel is nice just to be able to throw out the ability. There's a world where we swap out armor squirrel for killer bunny for like a little bit of deck variety, in fact, though. Let's 
So is this no longer... I thought that... Okay, he's still with me. All right. I'm good, I'm good. So when you camp, you do lose uh, your summons. It's worth a note. Oh my. This is a little spicier. I don't know about this one. I think we, um, I think we retreat on this one. It should be free. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll avoid that tile for now. At the very least, until I can get a... Are you good, boy? Formidable warrior offers to join your bench for 300 gold. Flying, if attacked, unit has three or less life. If attacked, unit has three or less life. Attack again. Wow. I mean, it's interesting. Hmm. I kind of want to have that Hydra, though. I need more money. So what's with all the lore? Do we, like, if we... Complete the lore collection to unlock a reward. Gotcha. One, three, inflict poison. Probably not on overflow, though. Wait, what? I'm allowed two of them? That was mostly just so that they don't come and get me. I don't know if they could anyways. Well. Well, we could have done that and gone for the, uh, that, but then we'd lose both. I'd, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I prefer that. I'm so glad that you can redo. <laughs> it's so it's so easy to just like slide it right off. Found a life fruit. Your maximum life has been increased by three and your wounds have been healed. Great. Transform a minion into a one one squirrel. It's interesting that you get these cards and you can't... It's almost like a debuff in a way if it's a card you don't want, you know? Oh. There we are. Okay. Pitchfork. Satchel card equipment. Plus one, plus zero. Uh, satchel card, one-time use card that can be played from your satchel while not in combat to prepare for your next battle and unlock a benefit. Customize a humanoid ally. Unlike other cards, they can only be played while not in combat, unless not otherwise they last until the end of your next battle. Rare cards can last for the entire adventure or even unlock new abilities and quests for future adventurers. Wow. There's, like, so much going on. Like, do I want to bump myself up? I mean, I I, I don't know how much more I uh, will be doing here. I typically do about an hour for, for the episodes, but I'd like to, at the very least, I, I don't know. I'd like to see the boss, but I don't know if we're going to be able to see that in time because it said estimated roughly an hour. Oh, they going to go first? Is that their thing? Why do we get jumped? I didn't even get a chance to, to think or about anything there. Ooh. Animate plants. I mean, we're really into animals, though, right now. Transform a small plant into a 2-5 Carniflower. Vigil regenerate 3. Draw Carniflower on this card. Visible enemies are immobilized and anchored until the end of the turn. I mean, that's good, too, but... I really like the idea of the crocodile. It'll go hand-in-hand hand with the fact that I have all, like, the little rinky dink tiny squirrels. I'm 
I doing? I want to go here. There we go. That being said, I kind of wanted to buy the Hydra, and I don't know how to make much that makes sense. I don't care. I do not care. I'm gonna do it anyway. Is it loyal? I would imagine not. Not loyal. Oh, the stinking barrels, man. Oh, the stinking barrels. Especially because you get a reward for getting all of the lore, too. That that uh, that ups that annoyance factor. Okay, we have so many D twenties. If we get a random roll event, like we can really random roll it. Uh, hello. Two sixteen. I mean, that's a little scary. Three eight. I mean, I'm, it has to be a minion. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Flying. Okay, so you can go over the trees. I'm trying to think if we're if we should maybe ditch this though. Like, I kind of want to get set up, because we can also buff ourselves up for something else, you know, with our ability. And it, it is an elite. I would like to kill the elite, but I, I want to do something else first. Let's see if we can... <laughs> uh, goblins are gathered at a table in the forest clearing. There's a big cake sitting on the table. The goblins are wearing party hats and too happily engaged with their singing to notice you. My birthday's on the 19th, you goon. Oh, what are they doing? Uh, they're singing those of you off to the side. There's a pile of presents. Sure. We're, we're, we're getting near the end of the video. I'm, I'm throwing out. I mean, I, I right? Like, it's, I know it's a 50-50. We, we really didn't need to, but... The birthday song comes to its conclusion, and the goblins of, Goblin of Honor blows out his candles. You have a really nice time partying with the goblins and eating the cake all together. The party members are all healed to full life. Uh, the goblins begin passing presents to the birthday boy, who excitedly opens them. A new spear, a new shield, a sampling of sparkling crystals, and of course, lots and lots of gold. Goblins love shiny things, after all. Comes to your turn, and the birthday goblin eagerly reaches his hands out in anticipation. The goblin's eyes light up with excitement. Clearly, he is pleased with your generous gift. The other goblins, ooh and ah, seeing the potential of what it <laughs> means to adventure with you. The goblins declare it's time to take this party on the road. The party goblins join your party. Birthday boy joins your party as a loyal unit. Hey, uh, what's a loyal unit? Uh, a loyal unit remains in your party after battle. When loyal units uh, join you for the events in the world, they remain in your party until they're defeated in battle. <laughs> if a loyal I can't keep doing this, but it keeps on showing it to me. It keeps on asking. The loyal unit summoned the card in your deck. It will return to the deck when it is in a campfire. Oh my god! You've got to be kidding me. All right, party goblins. They're all 1-1, one, one, so I feel a little bad. Oh no. Well, at least it wasn't us. Goblin archer, birthday, birthday boy, block and lunch, okay. So there's the 4-4, four, four. we're definitely gonna do that. Like, that much is a no-brainer. It's an enemy. I'm just checking. Just making sure. So we can probably go for that. Feels like a no-brainer. Take, take a little bit of damage back there. I think it's probably fine. Unless we want to... Might be in our best interest to attack here. Block the damage. 
Sorry, birthday boy. I'll just, I'll resummon you. Don't worry about it. Or better yet, I can do this, and then I'll put that score right there, so it... It's probably gonna die anywho. I'm trying to save you, birthday boy. It says Pierce doesn't have lunge. I mean, yes. I'm assuming you're gonna come over, you're gonna hit the squirrel, and then you're gonna kill birthday boy. Oh no! Oh, we got backstabbed. Uh, I can't backstab them, the geniuses. Okay, we can do that easy enough. Can't go around, so we can do like a little bit of. You have lunge, right? Yeah, you have lunge. You do not. So unless I misunderstood lunge, which I did not, apparently. Good. Boink. Uh. Squirrel just... I'm sorry. Just I need you gone. We could risk it or we could not risk it. I mean, there's nothing really to risk. We could have gone for the wolf instead, too. Clean. Lightning Elemental, Flying Spell Power 1, Sprint Shot What are you talking about? Can fly over units, obstacles, or real traps. Spells deal X extra damage. May move and shoot up to three spaces away. Can move and then shoot, and then shoot up to three spaces away. I still have birthday, boy. Animal overrun, all animals get plus two, plus two, and lunge until the end of turn. I like that a lot. Uh, we're at 52 minutes. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go to the campsite. We're going to heal up, change our deck a little bit, and then we are going to do... Um... Okay, you stay there. Shall adjust. You guys stay there. Is this our? Is this not our party? Okay, um, I don't, as cool as this is, I don't think it works with, like, what we're doing here. I don't, I'm going to say no to that. Uh, I just want to, I want to keep it, I want to trim it a little bit. Trim it a little bit. Maybe we can, we can probably keep the armored squirrel in. Okay, we back out. Do we still have our, okay, we still have our summons. Good. It's a free will unit. I can I can add it to my deck if I want, though. But we have Birthday Boy. We have all that. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go in. We're going to go for the satchel. How do I... Oh! What the, the hell? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta. Okay, we have to end the camp. Break camp. Wait, what? 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 That cleansed it? That cleansed it now? It said it goes away after the next fight. Ah. Oh. Sorry, birthday boy. It lied to me. It said it goes away after the next combat. Interesting. All right. Carlo. <laughs> um. Uh, I have concerns. God, I wish I was not over here. Stop. You can attack very far. Protect birthday boy. Can't really. This 
one less thing to worry about. Nope, 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 nope. It's fine. I can't stand here. Not great. I knew this was going to be rough. Surprise. And then we got the squirrel doing his thing. <laughs> In three mana each turn. So we can save next turn and get that. Oh, boy. Uh, I think we throw a squirrel. So that we can overflow kill here. You can go anywhere. Like he's, you're going to do your thing regardless. I kind of want to say birthday, boy. All right, croc Crocodile. So what, what is Sprint Shot? On Sprint Shot, attack and pull injured enemies toward you. I'm trying to figure out what exactly this means. Like, if you... You have Sprint Shot, and you can pull an enemy towards you if you're injured, and they're far away from you. Something like that. I mean, these would have lunge. All right, birthday boy. Let's go, birthday boy! And then we'll have a maybe we'll have a squirrel fight over there. I know we can summon a squirrel. I don't wanna. We're not. We can't summon our five, five costs. Ooh. Okay. It's turning rough. It's turning rough. Oh, that poison! Oh, that poison! Oh, I wish I had my plus. Oh no. Oh no, birthday boy, this ain't looking too good. <laughs> I, th I think I think we we might be bopped. I don't want to be attacking this guy. He summons the one one spiderlings if he's hit. By the same token, I kind of want this guy gone. Lunge is free. And again, I kind of want... I don't really want him on the field because I don't want... I mean, it doesn't matter. He's going to be there anyways because the spider. So maybe we do this knowing full well. gonna be going on there okay I don't I don't want to attack you you stay here I guess wolf spider can't get me theoretically next turn we can summon this hydra which will hopefully solve everything what are you doing what surprise okay I'm kind of fine with the fact that he counterattacked in the back there visual taunts plus two plus two when injured all right my boy lunge kill that don't have to worry i don't know wait what oh yeah that's right we can't move in melee all right it's fine we'll just, we'll just set up a big old batch i don't know if i want to hit that yeah this has taunt right yeah this has taunt Surprise! Call the arms when an enemy moves. Uh, surprised indeed. Okay. 
This is not an animal, right? Oh, it is an animal. Adjacent enemies cannot flee. It has to be adjacent. I think we go for the kill. Oh, but now he's back his turn. Is he's back his turn? Oh, that's right. Uh, I could go for this. Get a little bit of an overflow kill here. Maybe summon a tree ant for kicks and wiggles. Okay, we can't attack through. All right, birthday boy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, birthday boy. Your birthday cannot last forever. Why are you? Why are you running? Oh. Oh no. Oh. Flying, okay, so flying can fly over units, too. I mean, it makes sense. All animals get plus one, plus one, and lunge. Um, plus two, plus two, and lunge. Sorry. Man, you are really running the hell away. Okay. Good. Then this, I guess I'll... I guess I'll move down, get myself a little bit more protected. And then we'll drop down the wolf, to buff up some stuff later. Yes, I'm aware. Give an ally regenerate too. Oh, you give it your... Stop running! Surround an enemy with three... You are frustrating me, mister. Oh, no. That actually might become a problem. The wolf is dead next turn already. Oh my, that's sad. Okay. And I can't... What is it? Well, you didn't even tell me about this. Uh, d drag cards here to discard. Discard two cards of the same turn to generate a mana. Oh. Um... that out of the way. I can overflow kill, I guess. Do I need to play this in order to draw new cards? That... You... It's literally... Okay, it's literally not until rest. Ever. Okay. Man, that little thing... Okay. Um. Are you going to come in for an attack? You got 2 HP. I think this is a chance I can take. I think I can... I think I can chance that. Take him down with a combo. Triggers when an enemy is knocked out. Knocked adjacent to your unit. Oh, I'm gonna say remind me. I'm gonna forget that one. I do want to be here for the line of sight. Come on, birthday boy. You know what? Actually, birthday boy, you stay. You stay right here, birthday boy. Okay, I dig this though. I think that we, I think we can do some stuff here. All right, 15. No, you should, you have lunch. You have lunch, my friend. Nice. Oh, there we go. We did it. We freaking did it, dude. All right. Box, box, max life down. Regen up. 
Unusual size surprise. Effect hidden from opponent until triggered. Give an ally 2-2. Two, two. Now this is very like Magic the Gathering-y. Almost more than um, more than Hearthstone -y, uh, in its sense. Surprise, give an ally plus two plus two when hurt on enemy turn. Small units will get plus four plus four. That's incredible. I love that is that is very much my jam. I am an average green deck enjoyer. What can I say? I'm 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 not ashamed. It's fun to use from time to time. I like see see big creature go funny. I like it. But alas, alas, that's that. That's gonna do it here for today. Uh, I'm I'm very surprised. I'm I'm extremely pleasantly surprised by Summoner's Fate game that I did have to open up the tab in the background again to remember the name of. Uh, I, I would slap this into the other like the category, the running category I have of uh, bad bad name, great game. I really do. I think that there's some issues with the frame rate. There is some innate silliness with the characters like looking up at you. But I think that that's. The more I play, the more I wonder if it's on purpose that it's funny. Like, I think it maybe is on purpose that it's funny. Like, seeing the goblin... I, when I saw the goblin birthday party, I feel like I was like, okay, they're in on the joke. You know? I think that they're in on the joke. I think that they know that there's something innately funny about it. And the, like, the extra realistic... It, it, kind of animated faces, stuff like that. Um, the frame rate thing was a little bit meh. Uh, there's a lot going on, but I don't I don't know. I never particularly felt like too wildly overwhelmed. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is not like anything I've ever played. While being a little like everything I've ever played. <laughs> it's, it, it, it is, um, it itself, its own package. This game in this package, exactly like this, how it is, I have not played before. Uh, but the element, the trace elements of all the places that it has been inspired from are, are innately very obvious. And I really, like, I enjoy all those things. And I'm actually kind of baffled that they were put able to put them in a quasi-cohesive package the way they did. I think that this is an, an impressive feat. Um, I hope people don't don't pass it over because of the art uh like not, and i'm not talking like the art of the game like i think that there's people who can enjoy the visual style of the in game but i think the promo art looks like a like a um generic mobile game the promo art looks like a generic mobile game and the title sounds like a generic mobile game and it's anything if generic if not generic wait anything but generic there we go i was trying to give it a compliment it is, it is outlandish, it is weird, and it is, uh, honestly, it is quite fun. I wouldn't mind playing more of this. I, I'll be genuinely honest. I'm going to put it on my roguelike roulette wheel at the very least, for sure. Uh, my streams I do on Mondays, where I stream a basically a randomized roguelike game over there. So if you want to see more stuff, I'm on twitch.tv slash retromation, Mondays, 4 p.m. CST. But alas... Uh, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for this. Go check it out with the link in the top description. There is a free demo out now. Otherwise, the game is going to be coming out. Let's see if they got a release date. Uh, on the 20th of June. Oh, it's, it's coming out very soon. Uh, it's coming out a day after my birthday. Well, there you go. Uh, so there we go. Happy birthday, birthday boy. Thank you for watching. Check out my channel for Rolex more every single day. If you want to see... People checking out games, taking chances on games like this in the roguelike genre, uh, playing games that you maybe would otherwise miss or otherwise pass over because of certain reasons. You want to just know more about them. This is a great channel for you. Make sure you are subscribed every single day. A hot new game, hot new roguelike. Check it out. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.